Hello all and welcome, and I'm the MGTOW Philosopher, and in this video I would like to talk more about the psychopath chick who beat up her baby and got zero jail time by the name of Lorian Norman. Now, I made a video about this yesterday, but I wasn't satisfied really with the amount of information in the story that I was commenting on, and I knew there had to be more information out there. So I found this article that essentially came out after the one that I posted about, and it has quite a bit more information. And if you already thought this chick was a psychopath, well, she's even more of a psychopath than we thought she was. So listen to this. She sent smug texts. She sent smug text messages to the ex, the father of the kid who she beat up and nearly killed. I'm not going to jail. What's your next move? She's not too bright. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, she, I mean, you could show these to a judge. Show that she has no remorse whatsoever. Smug texts from a mother who walked free after bashing her eight year old girl with a cooking spoon. As dad reveals toddler will need years of therapy. Yeah, no kidding. So Lorian, who pleaded guilty to beating her baby daughter with a slotted spoon. Uh, this is for those of you who may not have seen my prior video. And Evie McMahon was left with severe bruising and injuries to her face and cheeks. Norman, the 26-year-old psychopath, walked away with a suspended sentence and a $500 fine. And it's not even a fine, really. That's a, that's a misnomer. It was like a, a, a good conduct, and she'll get the money back after two years. Uh, now, she's gloated to her former partner about getting away without jail time. Can you imagine that? Evie's uh, dad, Shane McMahon, said his daughter would need ongoing mental help. Uh, yeah, no doubt. So here's the story. A mother who bashed her toddler so badly she had to be hospitalized has boasted about not being jailed and surviving a storm of Social media outrage against her. Lorianne Norman was last week given a suspended jail sentence for a horrific attack in which she abused her eight-month-old daughter, Evie, with a kitchen serving spoon. And this was uh, last October. In a text message sent by Norman to her former partner, Shane McMahon, after being sentenced by that pussy-wimp cuck judge who saw her and couldn't, oh, he just couldn't bring himself to give her a harsh sentence. She said, so I'm not going to jail. Even everyone against me on social media, I still made it. What the fuck? So clearly she's a psychopath. She's a sociopath. She's a nut job. Oh my God, this one has no conscience. The adorable toddler. Oh, look at her. She's so, oh, my God, I want to kill this woman right now. I want to kill her myself. Oh, my God. The adorable toddler was left with sickening bruises to her eyes, nose, and cheeks at the hands of her mum, mum, who after the incident threatened to throw her off a balcony. Oh, my God. Despite the shocking nature of the attack, an Adelaide District Court judge sentenced her to a two-year good behavior bond. It's a bond. She'll get the money back. At least that was my impression. That was what the prior story implied. So was it a $500 fine? Regardless, that's a slap on the wrist. And after outrage at the soft sentencing, yeah, yeah, ensued when photos of Evie's injuries were uploaded to Facebook over the weekend, her doting father, Mr. McMahon, told Daily Mail Australia the abuse would cause long-term issues for his cheeky little monkey. Yes, that's his nickname for this cute little kid who the woman beat up. Unbelievable. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So this cunt who thinks she's all that in a hamburger and a side of fries sends these, all, these text messages gloating after nearly killing her kid. So I'm not going to jail. What's your next move? That just goes to show you, looks uh, definitely ain't everything. She's evil. Evil. I'll send you photos in October. Cute family photos of myself, Indy, Evie, my sister, her partner, and my nephew, Hudson. Oh, my God. So she's essentially saying that I'll get the kid. I'm going to get the kid no matter what you do. I'm gloating. You know what she strikes me as? A, a, a narcissist and a control freak. She wants to get that kid. She, she, she really wants the, the power. She, she doesn't really care about the kid. The kid is just like uh, some kind of pawn, essentially, a way that she can uh, uh, mess with his head 
and essentially uh, use the kid against him and use the kid to fuck with him. I mean, this woman is a psychopath. So she's essentially saying, ah, I'm going to get Evie by October, and then, then you watch out, and I'm going to send you pictures and uh, more gloating. My God. So she's essentially gloating about being able to almost kill her own child, and then she's going to get custody. Oh, my God. Look at this next message. Even with everyone on social media against me, I still made it, and I'll be having partial custody within a year. Oh, my God. And you know what's really fucking scary? She might get it. She might get it because Australia is cuck central. Uh, this judge, I don't know if he had a boner uh, uh, during the sentencing because he was looking at her and thinking that he wanted to give him a blowjob and maybe, uh, you know, maybe she did give him a blowjob. Who knows? Maybe he got some uh, pussy out of her. You don't know. I mean, it's, it's really hard to believe that any judge could uh, uh, give this woman a slap on the wrist until you consider the fact that Australia, Canada, and Sweden are like the top three feminist countries in the fucking world and they're all competing to see who can be the cuckiest. This is unbelievable that this woman would send these messages. She's got the gall, and then she can get away with this and think she'll get custody. And you know what's scary? She just might. She just might. Frightening. So scary. Ah, uh, ah, uh, and look at this. See, she is a very attractive woman, so it's quite easy to mistake her probably got a nice person. See, this is a problem people make, and I'm sure this is the problem that her ex made. He saw her and thought she was so hot. I mean, the cuck pussy wimp that he was, he just bowed down to her and took her shit until he decided not to take her shit, and then she couldn't handle it because I'm a hot chick. How could this loser leave me? Oh, oh, now I'm really pissed. Now I'm going to make him pay. You, you psycho broad, you, and those kids to her are nothing more than extensions of herself because she's a narcissist, of course. She shouldn't give a shit about them except what they can do for her and what they can bring her and how she can use those kids to hurt him. My God. This is why she got zero jail time, people. Look at those tits. Look at the face. Unbelievable. Mr. McMahon said despite his daughter's physical health being back to normal, it was likely to be years before she overcame the mental scar she suffered in the attack. Mentally, she hasn't been cleared because it's too early in a baby's life to determine what the exact mental repercussions will be, he told Daily Mail Australia. She's going to have, a, to have extensive mental rehabilitation down the track, but the concern is that what upsets her most is that she doesn't like anything near her face. She'll, she was only eight months. I think she'll get over most of that, I hope. My other daughter has a softball, and if it goes anywhere near her or near her face, mean, meaning Evie, she'll cower. She knows uh, what she's been through, and she's well aware that she's been hurt. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How could anybody hurt that kid? Oh, 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 oh. If she gets custody, I I'm going to commandeer a fucking uh, a jet or uh, a fucking bomber and go there and bomb all of fucking Australia. You're going to be kidding me. I'll go assassinate this broad. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that, of course. I'm just expressing my anger. I mean, I, seriously, though, I, I, <laughs> this pisses me off. Somebody should. This, uh, this is just some crazy shit. Despite being unable to have a haircut because of fear of anything and touching the area where she was bashed, Evie is back on track physically, according to her dad. She's fantastic. It's 12 months on, and she's been given the all clear physically by the pediatricians, so there's no long-term effect on the physical nature of her bones. So well, that's good. <sighs> Before she got here, she was quite timid, shy, and scared. Yeah, you get beat up with a spoon by your own mother. You tend to be that way. But she's coming to her own little world. She runs the place now. Good. <sighs> Good. She's just a cheeky little monkey running around with her nappy, climbing up on the bench when she's not supposed to, drawing on the world wall. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah, she's a cute kid. How could anybody hurt her? Oh, my God, these pictures. Ah, ah. I'm going to bash the mother in the head. That's what I want to do when I see these pictures. How could you not? Evie's mother initially told police the youngster had fallen at a playground. Really? How many times did she fall down? <laughs> because she's hit. She's damaged at multiple places on her face at multiple anger, angles. There's no way unless she fall down about, about a dozen times. But later pleaded guilty to aggravated causing harm with intent. <sighs> oh, this must be now. Ten months later, or eleven months later. Oh, look at her! She's cute. Oh, she looks so much better. Evie, uh, uh, Evie's father, Shane McMahon, uh, A.K.A. Cuckboy, that got involved with this crazy broad, said his daughter would need ongoing rehabilitation to overcome her mental scars. Meanwhile, this cunt 
is on fucking Facebook and sending him text messages bragging about how she got away with it and how she's going to get custody. <sighs> Norman was allowed to walk free on a two-year good behavior bond following her sentence last week. That judge must be a feminist, moron, idiot, cucked pussy. She must have given him some in the fucking parking lot outside or something. I don't know. Evie's mother walked free from court last week with a good behavior bond. Yeah, despite the offense, Carrie, yeah, yeah, she'd paid a $500 fine. Now, this is what pisses me off, though. I mean, even beyond what she did. Gloating, gloating about her escape in the hours after facing the district court, she sent a series of messages to her partner. I'll send you photos in October. Yeah, 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 we saw those already. Even with everyone's social media against me, I still made it. And I'll be having part custody within a year. That is so frightening. I don't see that kid surviving if that crazy bitch gets the kid. This is all very disturbing stuff, by the way. And this is what happens when you have feminism, where you give uh, women almost limitless power, no consequences to their actions. What do you expect to happen? They're going to do whatever the hell they want. They're going to act crazy. They're going to do stupid shit. No consequences. It's inevitable that this is going to happen more and more. Especially when this judge let her off with a slap on the wrist. Oh, look at her. She looks normal now. She looks okay. That's great. Initially, her mother, yeah, 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 bruised, uh, fell down my ass. Unbelievable. Yeah, he, I, you were, he was speechless about the sentence. So was I. Oh, look at her. She looks okay now. That's great. He continues. Uh, this is uh, stuff that wasn't the last story, thankfully. I've raised both these girls, Evie and Indy, the second child he had with normal. How, how could he have two kids? I mean, didn't he know after the first kid that she was nuts? Didn't he know before the first kid she was nuts? See, this is why I know this guy is a cuck pussy wimp, <clears throat> and I sympathize with him, but he put himself in that situation because he must have known even before he got with her that she was crazy, and yet he had a kid with her, and then he had another kid with her. You know why he did it? Because she's hot. And he has low self-esteem. And only a low self-esteem dude would have kids with a woman like that, let alone two kids. But eventually, he got tired of it and left. Yeah, she was probably beating him up, too. Crazy broad. Unbelievable. So this, is, this story uh, does not have an happy ending. I'm going to continue to follow it, and I want to see what happens if she gets any kind of partial custody. Uh, she shouldn't get any custody of any kind. She should be in jail. But, of course... This is why she isn't in jail. We can only hope that if she ever does something like this again, she'll be beyond the age of 30 and will have already hit the wall, and then she won't have her good looks to fall back on her. Maybe, just maybe, she'll get a female judge, so the next time she beats up a kid, there'll actually be a woman in there who won't be mesmerized by her nice tits and tight ass and pretty face, who will say, ah, you beat up a kid. I got three kids. You're getting 13 years. Instead of this pussy cuck judge who gave her no jail time. Ridiculous. I am the Tell Philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.